Sabrina isn't here today. She's at work. Uh, but I do have Rufus, our geocaching buddy who sits in the car. I understand it's been a while since we made a geocaching video. Alright, there's two reasons why I'm making this video today. The first one is to replace the Easter egg geocache again seen in these two videos because again someone took only half of the Easter egg. Why? Who knows? The second reason is to answer a question submitted by one of our viewers. The question goes like this. For the geocaching app, should I update to the $9 one? I want more cool ones, but I'm also broke. My advice, and this is just my advice, you don't have to take this, is it depends on how serious into geocaching you are. If you, it's something you really, really enjoy, and you, you, you do it a lot, then you should upgrade to the $9 app, or however much it is. Um, With something that you enjoy, it's all right to put a little bit of money into it. Uh, it kind of shows your support, your appreciation for the the thing that you like. Now, do I use the nine dollar app? I do. I bought it because I do want to see the more interesting geocaches. I mean, a lot of the ones that you're left with. Uh, without the paid app are kind of like plain or easy parking lot type geocaches. As for being broke, uh, my advice is how about go around a parking lot and pick up some loose change that you see on the road and then you'll eventually get enough money to make up for the nine dollars that you spent on the geocaching app. Just kind of think of it as geocaching, but you're looking for money and you don't have a clue where it is. I stopped at where the Easter geocache was, however it was like Muggle Grand Central Station there. So I didn't bother stopping and uh, replacing the cache there, I'll have to do that later. So instead there's another geocache that needs some maintenance, that is my lightsaber geocache seen in this video which is already mentioned here but now we get to see it again for those of you wondering and those of you who are not Rufus does have a special geocache of his own uh, you can check it out in this video and hopefully you will get a chance to find it now because this lightsaber geocache is missing we don't have another container like the one we had before which is a shame. Uh, people took the geocache or maybe even magical squirrels, who knows. So what we did, or what I did, is I quickly spray painted this flashlight container. The little battery pack is missing out of it. And the log is in it and whatever. All you have to do is unscrew the bottom which is attached to the strap and you can pull out the log and it looks a little bit like a lightsaber sort of and here is the new lightsaber geocache completely different from the last one as you can see in a new location hopefully easier to find and sigh good grief I've had enough trouble from that one so here's what we're going to do. We're going to fix the Easter egg one later. I'm going to go home. I'm going to edit this video. I am going to change a little bit of information on that lightsaber geocache on the website. And that's about it. If you like this video and you want us to make more, please, please, please press like. It really, like, makes our day comments if you want to nothing negative more questions too we like it when you ask questions be inquisitive and if you want send us pictures or videos of your own geocaches and with your permission we'll feature them here if you want 
and let's see is there anything else oh Rufus likes to have his picture painted if you want to do some fan art of Rufus feel free to fan art and send us your pictures of Rufus all right that's it for this video we'll see you later